Hello. In today's session, we are going to practice simple future tense. Just we have to recall the previous uh, sessions what we have done and what we have learned. In the first session, what we have learned only about uh, simple uh, simple present tense. In simple present tense structures, we learn and how many types of sentences, four types of sentences. After preparing the structure, we apply the same knowledge and other forms of the simple present tense. In simple present tense, what are the other forms of simple present tense? Past, present continuous, present perfect tense, and the present perfect continuous. Like that, in simple past tense, in past tense, we are having simple past tense, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. These are four forms we learned even in the simple past tense. So in the simple past tense, what is the structure subject plus the second form of the verb plus object that. So we learn. And the next one is past continuous. Past continuous also subject plus was or were plus not plus but plus ing. And that is a negative one. And the next one is interrogative. Was or were plus but plus ing. That is interrogative. And the negative interrogative was or were plus not plus subject plus ing. That one we practiced in the simple past. Now we are going to take a turn to learn about the simple future tense. Now here you see simple future tense. What is the structure? Subject plus will or shall plus plain verb plus object. So when do we use the simple future? Simple future tense is used for an action that will take place at particular time in the future. Like in the previous uh, uh, practice sessions of the present tense and the past tense, we are having the same two types of sentences even in the future tense. So here these four sentences are affirmative sentence, negative sentence, interrogative sentence, negative interrogative sentence. You apply your uh, practical knowledge what you have done in this uh, previous sessions. Same. So here the subject is a Ravi and a Ravi it is a third person singular. You can choose will plus verb or that is our structure. So subject plus will or shall plus verb. So now our verb is selected verb is a play. So Ravi will play, Ravi will not play, will Ravi play, will Ravi not play. This is the structure what we learn with the help of the sentence. Now you see the other one. Future continuous. Continuous means the action is going to be continued. Subject plus will or shall plus be plus verb plus ing plus object is the structure. The future continuous sentence is used to express an action which will be progressed at a particular time in the future. And now here also there are four types of sentences. I will be playing. I will, but now you are getting the word I and we as subjects. So now you have to use a shall. Okay. Will also permitted right now. But shall is the better one, the best one. So I shall be playing, I shall not be playing, and shall I be playing, shall I not be playing. But here uh, I have used the same shall only in the question here. Interrogative, negative, interrogative. But in general also, I shall do or whenever you find the subject I and V, then you have to use the shall. That is the quoted one here. So now you check up. I shall be playing, I shall not be playing, shall I be playing, shall I not be playing is a structure for this one. And the future perfect tense, you see the subject plus a shall, a shall or will plus a have plus a v3 form. So this is a structure. Future perfect tense is to indicate the complete completion of an action by the certain period of time in the future. So now here you, you check the other forms. Affirmative sentence. She will have played, she will not have played, will she have played, will she not have played. So these are the forms of future perfect continuous and uh, the last part of this part, part in the future tense. In future tense we have four forms, you know? this is the last form. So here subject plus shall or will plus have been plus one plus ing. The future perfect tense used when an action is to done. Then you up to a certain point of time in the future. So now here there are four forms. Ross will have been playing and Ross will not have been playing. Will Ross have been playing? Will Ross not uh, have been playing? So these are the four forms in the future tense. So right now what we learned once again, we can go through all the forms one by one. Just you check uh, future tense. And so here in future, simple future tense, what is the structure here? 
subject plus villa shall plus v1 plus object and that is simple future tense is used here an action that will take place at a particular time in the future the other form you see here four types of sentences if we apply the same structure uh, this is the format you will get uh, so you take in the place of ravi you can take uh, they are uh, some other group or any any other one so here they will play they will not play will they play like that you can take and then you will play you will not play will you play will you not play like that ravi you can take any feminine gender okay that part ravi is so you can take sheila sheila will play sheila will not play she uh, will sheila play like that will sheila not playing that also you can apply the same knowledge next another one you can take a future content instance so what is the sub structure here subject plus will or shall plus v plus v1 plus ing so here v1 means a plain verb or bare verb or main verb so you take the other form when do you use this future for continuous instance the future continuous instance is used to express an action which will be in progress at a particular time in the future but not now in future you are getting imagination so that is the other one now you take the future continuous sentence structures and sentences affirmative negative interrogative negative interrogative these are the four types of sentences we are having and we we have whatever we learn now we have to apply the particular structure in the given format so here i will be playing i will not be playing shall i uh, shall i be playing shall i not be playing just we had a discussion on whenever you find the subjects i and b we have to use a shall only so here i used the same thing in the question here interrogate to not only but not in the level so even will is also right so like you are having you apply the same knowledge even in the singular now so like she will be playing she will not be playing she will uh, 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 will she be playing now here you have to change whenever you are using she or he or the by the time you can use will so like that next one future perfect tense and now subject uh, subject plus shall or will have plus dot form of the verb this is uh, commonly used in our communication and the written passages also future perfect tense is used to indicate the completeness completion of an action by a certain period of time in the future so now here four types of sentences she will have play she will not have play will she have play will she not have play and then now here ras will have been playing will not have been playing will ras have been play will ras not have been playing so these are the forms what we learn so in the next session we are going to revise everything thank you the next session we can revise all the tenses the present tense past tense future tense so in present tense how many forms we are having four forms in pre present present tense simple present tense present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous in past tense simple past tense past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous future tense future simple future uh, tense and future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous these forms uh, these are all forms we are going to use while writing or developing an essay or passages or any other thing so whenever you are writing you just to recall the structure of the sentence and can write without any errors in the sentence thank you we can see in the next